Welcome to the next lecture of Statistics for Non-Statisticians Lecture Series. Today, I am going to discuss about different types of means. In the previous lecture, we discussed about arithmetic mean. Today, I am going to introduce you two new topics. Those are geometric mean and harmonic mean. Let's recall what is arithmetic mean. In arithmetic mean, assume that we have four values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We add all 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 5 equals 3. Arithmetic mean. But what will happen if the data series is like this 1, 3, 8, 31, 89, 250, 1048 exponential type data series. If we plot this, I hope that you can remember how to plot the frequency. So let's plot this type of variable. The shape of this is like this. We call this type of curves as exponential curves. So arithmetic mean will not provide good idea about central tendency. In such case we can go for median but still there is a method to calculate mean. We call that geometric mean. I will give you an example. Assume that we have a data series of 2 and 8. Geometric mean equals 2 multiplied by 8 and get the square root. But here it's second root because we have two values here. This equals 4. So what is the arithmetic mean here? Arithmetic mean here is 5. Assume that we have a data series of 1, 2 and 3. So geometric mean equals 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 get nth root. nth root means n equals the sample size total number. So it's third root. If data series is 1, 8, 56, 196 geometric mean equals square root as we have four values, 1, 2, 3, 4, so fourth root and 1 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 56 multiplied by 196. So when we have exponential time distribution, example, growth rate of bacteria, in such case, arithmetic mean is not a good measure of central tendency. So we go for geometric mean. Geometric mean is generally lower than or lesser than arithmetic mean. Let's consider what is harmonic mean. Okay, there's a vehicle. It starts its journey from place A and goes until place B. There's 60 kilometers. Vehicle goes from A to B with the speed of 20 kilometers per hour and comes back the speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Same distance, 60 kilometers goes in the speed of 20 and comes back with the speed of 60. So what is the arithmetic mean? 20 plus 60 divided by 2 equals 40 kilometers per hour. What is the time taken for the total journey? From A to B, 20 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers, so it's 3 hours. From B to A, 60 kilometers with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, so 1 hour. What is the total time duration? It's 4 hours. Now look at 4 hours with the average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. 
what is the total distance with regards to the average speed total distance the actual total distance is 60 and 60 60 plus 60 120 kilometers but average speed related distance equals 40 kilometers per hour 4 hours it must be 160 kilometers there's a huge discrepancy between these two if we get arithmetic mean so what is the solution solution is harmonic mean let's consider what is harmonic mean as this lecture series is targeted for non-mathematical students i try to minimize the formulas and equations so harmonic means h equals n divided by 1 divided by x1 plus 1 divided by x2 if you can remember the example n is the total number of events so we have two events 120 kilometers per hour and then 60 kilometers per hour so n equals 2 divided by the speed is 1 divided by first is 20 kilometers per hour 1 divided by 60 kilometers per hour this equals 2 divided by 4 divided by 60 equals 120 divided by 4 equals 30 kilometers per hour so now what the total time taken is 4 hours so the total distance with regards to average speed that is average means harmonic speed 30 into 4 hours 120 kilometers which is correct please read your textbooks there are many occasions that you can use harmonic mean in your own field keep in mind arithmetic mean is not the only type of mean we have many other types of means so let's meet in the next lecture thank you very much